Check it. It go like this. Life of a dawn. Chestnut checkers. Need to talk it reckless. Checkmate. Boss move. Goal sent the message. I see him, but um, don't you want to be him? All right, double C. The women love me in the D. Venues, I'm next on the menu. Dope like that. She ain't in the scene. I wanted to go ahead down. and continue the conversation with you guys. Um, we got Steven Sticks, Josie here. Big Riz and Cuban Mike sitting in on the convo. You guys already know me. I'm the lady behind the camera, Boss Lady Britt Johnson. And uh, earlier we had you guys on Boss Lady News, yes. and we were all talking about different things. But <laughs> some Sorry of the food that. is here. No, that's okay. Awesome. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Who got these ones? Chicken yeah. yeah. Is that you? Oh, okay. Man right don't don't hesitate to grab no, your food. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're just having an intimate moment here, so I'm just nah, waiting. We're good. Um, so The Hills, yes. the movie. Yes. Is also like you were saying earlier, a TV series. Yes. Now that's how can people find it first? Well, they can put in the Hills official movie trailer to see the movie trailer. Um, that's on YouTube. But in terms of when the uh, TV show and the movie comes out, that's going to totally be up to the network. So okay. we have no control of that. Always, we're just ready. The movie's already done. Right. And the um, TV show, once the first quarter comes back in the top of the year, we go back. We go out to New York. With Raheem from um, Grandmaster Flash, and we start filming. Nice. Tell me more about some of the characters. That's what I want to know. Big Riz, tell me about your yes. character. My character? Okay, I'm a um, street guy. Six is a like ex cop, as far as the um, lawyer. Mm -hmm. So he comes to me to help out Raheem. And who's Raheem? It's my brother. That's okay. his brother in the film, yeah. So Raheem is in the bond with the record label. So I'm a rapper too as well in it. Okay. But And you're a rapper good. in real life. Yeah, you, you already know. <laughs> yes. Salute. And um, basically, six come to me, get his little hands dirty, feet wet, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm like, all right, let's, let's get some money. And um, as far as Raheem part, I help him out in this situation. Mafia and a big record exec. Right. As far as uh, what's Clemens, right? Yeah. Well, Carl, he's Carl like, Clemens. He's my homeboy yeah, too. Homeboy, but he's from Pittsburgh. Yeah. yeah. So and he got an artist, but me and him is best friends too. Right. right. I don't want to give it up too much, <laughs> but yeah. You got it too. Crazy. In. You got to yeah, watch it. Yeah, I was going in. Going right, in right. <laughs> so aside from also doing, you know, the characters mm -hmm. and doing the. Uh, the filming, you guys have a soundtrack to the movie, yes. which both of you are on yes. as well. Yes. I mean, Cuban Mike, we're always looking for artists and, and good music and New England music and all that good. Although you're from New York, yeah. right? no, <laughs> ain't got no problems with yeah. NY. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Too. And I was born in New York. I'm gonna get you on that because I got a quick question about. Okay. Well, my thing is, um, how long did it took you to make this pro project, and what was the process going through it? So. Okay, the movie, actually, I wrote the movie seven years ago, to be honest with you. Yeah, I just filmed it um, last year out in Atlanta and, and on Los Angeles. And then the TV show, like I said, we start filming the TV show in New York, and that's going to be the top of the year, 2017. So it, it's been a seven-year process. Now, with, with that being said, like, um, I spoke to Britt earlier when we brought the movie, um, Birth of the Nation. The Birth of a Nation. It took him eight years to make it. Yes. Does it become draining when you do those kind of films? When you, when you make a film that takes that long, like how draining is the process of trying to get everything? Because I know it's probably budgets involved and getting right to the main. So, what, like, what's the process and how exhausted does it get to you? I mean, for me, it, it wasn't, it didn't take me seven years to make it. I just wrote it seven years ago. Well, yeah. Okay. So, what I did, I had a plan, and, and Britt knows I made a movie called Angels Around Me. I made that be my first movie back in 2011. I had wrote that. Okay. And then I filmed in 2012. And that was just so I could get my feet wet. I won Best Director at the Philadelphia Film Festival, and that okay. opened up plenty of doors for me. So then I made other movies just so I could get my feet wet. So then when I was ready to do The Hills last year, I went to um, I went to Hollywood, got in touch with some great actors. They've already seen my work. They have a relationship with me. They were like, I'm all in. So it really was an easy process. And I had already, you know, saved the money. My, my wife and I, my wife and I actually funded it. Okay. So I had saved the uh, money already and was ready to do it. So that's what we did. Now the TV show. 
um, that's being picked up by a network. So we're not we're not funding cool, cool. that. So. Uh, are, you, are you allowed to say which network? Or that's just something we can't not talk yet. about. We can't yet. talk about yeah. Right, so back, once, back, once back. they um, they yeah. let us, they'll let us know. All right, cool. right. keep us posted. <laughs> they'll, they'll, yeah. Hold on, they'll, they'll keep you posted. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 You'll, you'll see. Make sure you're paying attention. Pay attention. Right. The Hills TV series. You know, right. coming, coming soon. Yes, yeah, coming soon. Once again, one day there was two detectives sitting in a car, talking. As they were talking, someone came up on them, snuck up on them, shot them both. That right there set off a firestorm that I'm dealing with to this day. I'm so caught up in the middle of it right now. This kid did not do that. Matthews did something wrong, and I didn't do nothing about it, but I can do something now. How do you figure that? I mean, the man is crazy. Hey, hey. You need to just relax, all right? I'm just saying, relax. Relax. Listen. This man killed his dad. Now he's trying to kill him. Why would you represent somebody like that? I don't. I don't know. It's, it's about justice. I know it don't make no sense, but I feel like I feel like he needs to face his fears, you know? We the jury find the defendant Tony Harris guilty in the first degree for the murder of Jeremiah Matthews Sr. and also guilty in the first degree for the attempted murder of Jeremiah Matthews Jr. What happened to the guy who had a purpose? I am the, the guy. The guy who stood for justice before anything else. <laughs> Huh? Just tell me the story one more time from beginning to end and do not leave anything out. So killing a man, that's just nothing to you, right? It didn't happen like that. I didn't expect it. about being an actor and the exhaustion of you know I gotta get up I gotta do this what if what if Sticks is like uh I need you to do that again and I yep. need some more tape it over <laughs> and over then sitting still you know what I'm saying right. studio I can lay back right stand right. up just spit my bars or whatever you know to the beat nah this is totally different yeah. you know what I mean Oh, stay right there. We got to get your shoulder side now, Rez. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Oh, so stay in that position. Oh, mark your foot where, you know, yeah. it's a right. lot. It's right. a lot. Don't look into the camera. Ever. Yeah. It's a dead For shot. For real. You right. know what I'm right. saying? Right. But I can look into this camera. That's right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll have, I said something to before we got on camera, though, that um, you can have a vision and passion. Vision is you can see something see something but do you have the passion to bring it to life that's right and that's where it is from, you know so the inspiration is always saying i want to leave a legacy for the world every young boy and girl doesn't matter what color if i can dream it I can be it. Right. And that's what it is. That's where the, the passion comes from. That's Anything true. I do, whether it's music, being in this being in this interview with you today, coming, us getting on the road, saying, hey, we're going to Boston. Yeah. We don't live in Boston. We're going to Boston to meet with Miss Johnson, you know, to, to go sit down and meet with Mike or whatever. Yeah. That's inspiration. The same energy that it takes to make gold. We put the same energy into anything we do. Right. <laughs> Same passion. Yeah. And it's all a blessing. Yes. And I thank you for coming. <laughs> yes, definitely. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming. Now, Riz, I got a question. Now, you're from New York. Where are you from? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Okay. I've been having this question because um, I have a lot of fam in New York out there, and I always have discussions with about the hip hop going out there. Okay. What is going on with New York hip hop scene out there? Right now? Like, what My is going opinion? on? Yeah, because it's like every region have a particular sound like you know when it's west coast music you can tell it's that west yeah, coast music yeah when you hear the down south you know it's the down south whether it's a mm -hmm. chopping screw or trapping or crunk there's something about new york i keep telling them they have a weird identity crisis where they want to adapt to either the south or to the west like they don't have the traditional boom bap yeah or even that old like jazz sample that premiere and pete rock used to have yeah like you know there's nothing wrong with taking each other's genre style but when you hear that new york you can tell it's from new york 
Like you hear a lot of artists from New York. It don't sound like New York. It's no. like somewhere else. It sound like down south. So what's your opinion of that? Or is it that's just my like opinion. Fact? And that's where I'm going with it now, with sticks and us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We not trying to do, like put it like this. You know in New York, y'all already know, anywhere. You don't ride nobody coattail or crew, yeah. click. You feel me? Right. So I'm not jumping on nobody click. I got to rhyme like me. I got to sound like me. Like I said, my song, like me. Yeah. I got to be like me. Right. So I know designer, yes, Brooklyn, salute. Right. Love the song, all of that. I can't do it. You feel me? Right. I ain't knocking it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, some people tend to just, oh, that sounds dope. ABC, one, two, three. ABC, one, two, three. ABC, one, two, three. We're going to do that. Nah, I'm going to do how I want to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. New York style. And it's a lot of people out there doing it, though. But I just can't ride no coattails. I can't jump on the next man train. And, and I want to give you me. To yeah. piggyback on that, like, like when you hear our sound, though, like I was there born in go. New York, too, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, we, we, you could tell we were born in New York. That's right. Yeah. So we didn't, you know, nothing against what they're doing, but we have our own lane. So we're trying to stay traditional to, to yeah. what our lane is, you know, not convert over to something else, whatever, which is nothing wrong with it. Yeah. You know, so we kind of try to mix, like, you know, we use a mom. You know what I mean? Like, like she, she's really being herself. And you gotta respect that. Yeah, that's you right. know, I, I understand what she's saying. You gotta respect that, and that's what it's about. So that's I, I right. respect that. Right. Speaking of New York, listen to this. It's our new brand on the TV show. Birthplace of hip hop is now. You can learn a lot in these streets, like college. Place of hip hop is knowledge. Killing for that queen. Go ahead, man. Strong blocks and red corners. Street knowledge. Cop that house on the hill with new wheels. Stack that. Big bosses from the cartel. Money bags for the legal team. Slipping. You can lose your life. Streets. Everybody sending the wind. Feel this. New York heat. Big city of dreams. But see, that was just that's so that, that yeah, that's on the hills. You know what yeah. I mean? As you see, that's that's my, that's my brother Raheem right there. You know, as y'all see, you know, Raheem. Who produced that? I did. Oh, you put the, uh, yeah, of course. And, that, and that's me of course. saying New York City of dreams. That's me. And now that's where it is. You know, so that's that's, that's right. us. And where so. can we cop that at? Well, it's not out yet, so oh, it's coming out, out of the Oh, did you give us exclusive? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's got exclusive. Yeah. 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 that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. Look it out. Yeah, so, Look it out. You know, that's, that's what we were trying to do, is just give y'all an exclusive. But um, one thing that I think would be awesome for the audience, maybe going forward, mm -hmm. is to do like a QA. and a Yes. Get some questions out there. Right. Get some questions towards you guys. So that the audience can actually pose their questions to you and all the success that you all are both having. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm already digging into this food. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing the camera ain't on me. <laughs> but how can people, again, get in touch with you? How can they get in touch with you? And how can they get in touch with you? Well, as I said, Stephen, S-T-E-P-H-E-N, Sticks, S-T-I-X, Josie, J-O-S-E-Y, and I'm on everything. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to do. You know, if you want to call my uncle. <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out. Everything. Everything. Riz York, R I, 2 Z Y O R K. Together. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Get at me. Uh, with Mike, Mike's called MIC. Catch me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and it'll be a whole bunch of fun and games for me. Mm -hmm. You know, can I just say something? You know what looks so dope right here? It looks like Cuban Mike is real little. <laughs> in this seat, right? But I'm the littlest dude sitting at this table. Yeah, yeah, but I the look big. Is right and I look big. That's crazy. Let but we shrink. love you, though. Let me shrink myself. <laughs> The Hells movie, The Hells TV series, The Hells soundtrack, The Hells soundtrack, yes. a lot of Britt big moves. Johnson. Yeah, you know what I mean. Boss Lady News, Flaheen, what is it, Britt? 
Thank you. Right. Right. Well, Everybody. Everybody. Support that. Support Carl Clemens. Yo. All right, y'all. It is that time. We are literally going to go ahead and dig in, okay? Um, hope you guys got to go on to Facebook, Boss Lady News, and you can see our interview. I went live on Facebook. However, you will be able to catch that on Comcast Channel 23, Friday at 6 p.m. Make sure you tune in. And you know you can always email me, bossladynews at gmail.com. Until then, peace.